Now, what if you had a chance to increase the return potential of your money without adding to risk? Would you take it? You bet I would. I'd be right on that. That's precisely what can happen in accounts that can defer taxes until assets are drawn. Now, I'm going to quote uh, Albert Einstein. He said, uh, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He also said, he who understands it earns it, unquote. Now, we know that taxes cannot be eliminated from a tax deferred account. However, they can be controlled. Okay. So that's where tax deferral falls into place. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is tax deferral? Well, tax deferred deferral, uh, what that does, it uh, with your interest, dividends, or capital gains that accumulate, basically tax free until you take a distribution from uh, the vehicle that you have and withdraw the amounts. Uh, the most common tax deferred products include individual retirement accounts and annuities, uh, rather common. Even um, your um, employer sponsored retirement accounts, they're tax deferred too as well. Now the next question is, how does it benefit various participants in these tax deferred programs. Well, by deferring taxes on the returns of an asset, uh, the participant benefits in two ways. Oh, let me answer that. I okay. got the answer to that. All right. Either tax-free growth, I mean, tax okay. growth and good demographic timing. Instead of paying taxes on the return on an asset, <clears throat> excuse me, it's paid only at a later date, leaving that asset time uh, to grow unhindered. Okay. Now, good demographic timing, most retirement contributions are made while the individual earns income at a higher tax rate. Now, I call that the accumulation stage. When we're in our working years, uh, we accumulate assets, we accumulate wealth. As we approach retirement, let's say we start looking at age 50, 50, 55, we start thinking about distribution and having resources such that we have income that that lasts as a lifetime, well, simply because life expectancy has increased significantly. So individuals receive income in retirement are earning substantially less income, and they may be taxed at a lower rate. So tax deferral works well. Now, for future retirement expenses, the longer taxes are deferred, the better. Okay. Uh, let me give you an example. Folks, let's say we have $100,000. Uh, we get 4% uh, interest, and you're in a 25% tax bracket. Now, over a 20-year period, that's approximately uh, that $180,611 over 20 years. But in contrast, a $100,000 tax-deferred contribution, earning 4%, 25% uh, tax bracket, would grow or would have grown over 20 years, $219,112. Now that's $38,501 advantage right mm. there. 